It's so pretty outside. <laughs> oh my goodness. Can't even see California Adventure. Can't see anything. What are we gonna do, Christian? Okay, guys. Uh oh, two D. Day two. There you go. Smile. Hi, guys. Welcome to part two of our magical journey. This is California Adventure. I had so much fun at Disneyland. But California Adventure is such a different experience, and I'm so glad that we came here. On my first video, I had so many questions from family and friends. They were so elated to watch my video, and they had so much fun. This video is jam-packed with food, ride POVs, and family fun. But guess what though? Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to make a part three to finish off this family vacation. So. Since it was way too easy coming up with not just 10 likes, but 11 likes. Thank you guys, by the way. That was so amazing and I appreciate it so much. I'm going to have to step it up a notch though and ask for 20 likes this time before I move on to part 3. So let's go ahead and get started with the video. The first ride that we got on was the Golden Zephyr. It ascends into the sky on a rocket and it rotates around so that you can view the entire park. It's a great way to get a look at everything and it's really good for young kids. But the inspiration behind this ride was that you get on a silver ship and you ascend into the sky and you fight invaders from outer space while sailing through space. It's probably much better ridden at night when it's all lit up, but it does close early to accommodate the World of Color performance, so you might want to get on it early. If you grew up watching The Little Mermaid, you are going to want to ride aboard this clam ride. They took me back to my childhood and made it truly magical. We got to watch a 3D version with all of the best songs and scenes of the movie. I would have cried, but watching my daughter in awe throughout the whole thing helped distract me and hold back all of my tears. I really hope she remembers this moment when she's older because this ride will be her new version of It's a Small World nostalgic moment like mine. They did a fantastic job of making it look like a cartoon and you really felt like you were under the sea. I dare you not to sing along and dance throughout. Emily's face lit up every single time she saw Ariel, and truth be told, so did mine. But you also get to see Ursula. Can you believe that her tentacle figure is 12 feet wide? Wow. Along with her, we get to see Sebastian and his crustacean band sing along to his favorite Under the Sea song, as well as Kiss the Girl. I can almost guarantee that you'll be sad when it's over. Go ahead and be a kid again. I just wonder if they'll ever come out with a 101 Dalmatians one, because that's another one that I would really love to see. I'm actually emotional because 
that was the movie that I grew up with. That was beautiful. What do you think about your sampler? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I got the scream canister. It looks beautiful. Mm. Ooh, that's delightful. Very light. Kind of reminds me of like a tequila sunrise only with Bacardi rum. And I think it's the light rum. I don't think it's dark rum. It's very fruity. It's really good. Mm. Okay, he got the mimosa flight. Let's try it out. This is raspberry, I'm guessing. Ooh, that's really good. That's really good. It's kind of strong. That's pretty good, but the other one's better. This one has a watermelon. I keep wanting to call it a cube, but it's not a cube. Mm, that des definitely tastes like watermelon. Watermelon's not my favorite flavor to have in a drink, but if you like watermelon, this is really, really good. And then this one has a lemon wedge, so I'm guessing this is like a lemon flavored. That one is really good. I like this one a lot. My two favorite one is this lemon one and the raspberry one. Um, this is a peach St. Germain. This is a watermelon agua fresca. This is a mint traditional and this is a raspberry. Ooh, okay. All right. Thank you. Wow. Wow, that is so good. This looks delicious. Wow, look at that whipped cream. Ooh, and it comes with like a peanut brittle. And this is the kids. And the kids breakfast burger. Oh my gosh, how cute, Emily. That looks beautiful. All three kids got the same thing. Except for Jonathan got two of them, right? Yeah. Wow, look at that French toast though. These potatoes look so delicious. This arugula salad. I'm not really supposed to be eating arugula, but I'm gonna eat it anyway. And it has, oh, it has two eggs on top. Yes, but you can wipe it. And I don't know what that sauce is, but it has two poached eggs and then underneath is avocado toast. I got mine without the steak because I'm not really much of a steak person, but I got two slices of bacon with it instead. So this is definitely worth it. It is a little high price. It's $28 for the plate. So, you know, beware that it is a little pricey, but let's taste it. So good? Yeah, it's really good. I'm so curious to know what that tastes like. It's an almond brittle, it looks like. Mmm. It's really good. It's really good. I'm not big on French toast, but it That's says good. that it's on brioche bread. And that looks like whipped cream, right? It's whipped cream. Cinnamon whipped cream. Cinnamon. Cinnamon. Cinnamon whipped cream. And it's uh, soaked in 
syrup. That's syrup. It. It's infused, she said. The, the syrup's infused and with the bread. Emily, how's your burger? Is it a sausage patty or is it a beef patty? It's beef? How do you like it? Christian, do you like it? Is it so good? How many out of 10? You give it a 10 out of 10? What do you give it? Christian, what do you give it? 10 out of 10? Okay. <laughs> Love potatoes. They're very soft. And it looks like it has cheese on top, so there's like a crust of cheese. Mmm, very crispy. Let's pop one of these eggs. They do look like they're over, they're sunny side up. And it looks like guacamole. It doesn't look, really look like just smashed avocado. Like it looks like it's mixed with something. Ah, it's a little hard to cut through. Okay, let's get a little piece of this bacon. Ah, making a mess over here. It threw me off a little bit because whatever this sauce is, is a little spicy, it's different, but really good. I would give this like a nine out of 10. The bacon is bomb. Look at how thick this bacon is. So good. Mm. Wash it down with a sip. I'm a happy camper. Is everyone happy? Is everybody happy? Yeah. Okay. Out of the entire stay so far, this has been by far the best food. And this is just our breakfast, or brunch, I should say. Strongly recommend coming out to the lamplight. Coaster. This was so much fun. My daughter didn't meet the height requirements to go on this ride, so we did have to do the rider switch again so that my husband can go on it too. So it gave my kids an opportunity to go on it again. And my two sons really loved this fast and exhilarating ride. It's just too bad I couldn't get a front row seat. But this is how you would see it if you were sitting in the middle anyway. I think they did a great job incorporating the characters in the tunnels and there's plenty of twists and turns, plus a loop that gets your heart racing that'll make you want to go back on it again. Incredicoaster is actually the fastest ride at Disneyland Resort, and it goes as fast as 55 miles per hour, and it also makes the tallest roller coaster, which sits 120 feet high. We went swinging. <laughs> this ride was super cute and pretty fun. My oldest one was the only one who got a little nervous, but he's okay, don't worry. This Ferris wheel sits about 150 feet tall and you get a panoramic view of the pier. This is not an ordinary Ferris wheel though. There's two lines, one that goes around the wheel or you can get on the gondola that sways and slides back and forth. We got that one it just made the experience just so much more fun. My two little ones had a blast though. The wait was only about 30 minutes, so it was really well worth the wait. That's so cool! Oh, buddy, buds, and all my 
pounds have set up the Midway Mania playset just for you. So while Andy's away, it's time to play. You ready? <laughs> you got stuck in your tongue? <laughs> <laughs> This one is by far one of my favorite rides at California Adventure. I thought that It's a Small World and The Little Mermaid was nostalgic and made Disney worth the money. You guys, this ride blew my mind. If you haven't seen it yet or you haven't been there yet, here's your preview. I seriously wish that I would have gotten a kid's reaction on video after that ride was over. So much fun. Anyway, let's go ahead and head over to Pim Tasting Lab for a drink and a snack. I got the mini beer flight. The first one kind of tastes like mocha coffee. It's not that bad. The second one tasted like Christmas trees. That's my least favorite kind of beer. The third one is kind of fruity, maybe like a passion fruit. And the last one tastes a lot like the drink that I got without the boba. My drink was the Particle Fizz. It literally tastes like seltzer water. I didn't taste any watermelon acai at all. Good thing it had the boba because that's the only part that gives it flavor at all. And there's no ice, so it's served room temperature. Are you guys ready to try this gigantic pretzel? You want some? This ginormous pretzel was a total beauty. Look at it, it's a whopping 16.07 ounces. That's a full pound of bliss. The cheese, however, was a bummer. Very watery and bland. All you taste is flour, and you keep hoping with every bite it would get better, but unfortunately it doesn't. So buy cheese from another pretzel stand, and this would be perfect. Overall, this place is not that great, but it sure does give off a pretty good show. Everything okay? You need help? I don't need help! Yeah, 
Yeah, I should know. Scan complete. Once in the system, your hand scan will give you clearance and the doors will open towards you. Please stand by. I know. Security clearance. And presto, the doors open for you. I now present to you Tanale Tavon's private office. You're one step closer to your exciting encounter with the Guardians of the Galaxy. Okay, like, ouch! Ouch! What's wrong with you? That was not part of the plan! The name's Rocket, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The smart one. If you raise your hands, Where's I you? get the clearance and the chaos begins! <laughs> it's a foolproof plan! The clearance. Scan complete. You may now enter the gantry list. Friends, this is the moment I've been waiting for. The rocket can crush you and stop things rocking!
didn't want to say too much about the last two rides. They pretty much answer themselves. But we had a blast. The Guardians of the Galaxy is where Tower of Terror used to be. I was kind of bummed out about that, but once I got on it, those feelings fizzled out. They totally redeemed themselves. <laughs> fish taco was probably the best of, uh, out of all three. It was Baja style, which it was battered and fried with a little bit of pico de gallo and avocado cream sauce. Super tasty. The ribs were okay, very spiced with allspice, sweet but tender, and it was served with rice but it was kind of cold and the texture tasted like it had been sitting out for a while and it was kind of cr crunchy. Not the best. The brisket fries were not that great. The meat was tender and sweet, but the fries were super stale and the whole dish was just cold. Goofy! Big one more. Oh, he's calling oh, us. Oh, go ahead, guys. Go oh, ahead. thank you. Thank you. Smile, over Smile here. guys. Yay, team. Day two complete. Did everyone have a good time today? Yeah. yeah. Christian. What was your favorite part of today? Uh, the roller coaster. Either Guardians of the Galaxy, Credit Coaster, or Christian. the Cars one. The Cars one, roller coaster, um, the Haunted Mansion thing that's so cool. You like the the, the the Garden of the Galaxy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we had a really great time. All the rides were extremely fun. It's been like 15 years since we've been to Disneyland. And that was like when California Adventure had just opened. So we got to see like all the changes that they have done. They It has changed so much. It doesn't even look like Disneyland anymore. It doesn't look like California Adventure anymore. It's just a totally different experience. We did the food and food and wine festival, but we didn't finish our tickets. We only used like three each, and it comes with eight each. I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it. It says food and wine festival, but there is no wine on the tabs. And each tab only gives you like one or two options from each restaurant that you're allowed to redeem them at. It's not worth it. It was like $57, and I mean, it didn't seem very expensive in our opinion i thought it was relatively affordable given that they give you eight tabs to spend but the food options are kind of odd and they don't give you a description of every item that they do offer so you don't really know what you're getting until you actually redeem your ticket they the snack sizes they don't put as much effort into them they're probably already pre-made and by the time you get them they're just not that great but 
I, I don't know. I probably would never invest in the Food and Wine Festival ever again. They didn't really have a whole lot of beverages, but the beverages that they did had were non-alcoholic. I will say that the cheesecake was pretty good. Another thing is that we did get the Genie Pass. So we got to go in the Lightning, what's it called? The Lightning, lightning. Line? Or lane, lightning Lane? Lightning Lane. We did get to do that, and that was, that was well worth the money. It was like $65 per person. Something like that. Yeah, something like that. The, the only thing that I could maybe complain about, each ride you're only allowed to go in the lightning lane once. I think that's a little odd. Like if you're going to spend $65, you should be able to go on at least twice. But I guess to keep the park from being overly crowded or the lanes, the lines being overly crowded, they have to accommodate everybody. You know, otherwise the people in the standby lane would be always busy so I guess I can kind of understand that but it is $65 per person so buyers beware also um, I don't know if you can see it that looks like a sunburn but I think what happened was every time me and my daughter would go to the restroom I would spray my body spray and I think I sprayed it on my neck and it being hot, I think that whatever oils were in my body spray burnt my skin, like, immediately. So, not only is it red, but I have welts all around my neck. You can't really tell on camera, I don't think. I have welts all around my neck. It's really, it hurts. <laughs> so, tomorrow is our last day here. We're, like, super exhausted. Our feet are killing us. Our, our kids could barely even walk home. But we made it, and tomorrow's another day. If you guys are still with me from the very beginning until now, you are truly amazing. Thank you so much for joining us on day two. Again, if you want to watch the final part, hit that like button. I need 20 likes, y'all, and we will see you guys next time. Bye.